So check this out. I have one fingerprint registered, but watch this. Lock the phone, do my thumb, lock it again. I'll do my index finger, lock it again, middle finger, ring finger, and how about pinky? Boom, five fingers, only one fingerprint registered. Let me tell you how I did it. Hey, what's going on people? I hope you guys are good. Today we're gonna talk about a little hack that I discovered for fingerprint scanners on Galaxy devices. It allows you to register more than just for fingerprints, which is default on Samsung devices. So I have the Galaxy S21 Ultra here. It has the newest in-display fingerprint scanner, but this will work with older Galaxy devices or even foldables. So whatever device that you have, if it's from Samsung and it has a fingerprint scanner, this hack is for you. By default, Samsung only allows you to register four fingerprints. But last time I checked, I have more than four fingers. I have close to 10 and my wife has a few as well. So you might wanna register more than just the allowed amount that Samsung gives you. The first thing I'm gonna do is go through and delete every single one of these and start from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete fingerprint one, fingerprint two, fingerprint three, and fingerprint four. And then we have to re-register our fingerprints, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently than what you normally do. All right, so with the fingerprints now deleted, there's a few different ways that you can go about re-registering your fingerprints to get this little hack to work. Let me show you the ones that have worked for me. The first way we're gonna do this is to register a finger. So I'm gonna do my right thumb all the way up to about 50% and then switch to a different finger. So now I'm gonna do my left thumb all the way up to 100, like so. Now if I hit done, lock my phone, try out my right thumb, it works. Lock my phone, try out my left thumb, it works. Okay, so that's how you can register two fingerprints in the place of one. So let's go ahead and delete this fingerprint. And now we're gonna take it up a notch. So now I'm going to register a new fingerprint and I'm gonna start with my thumb so I'm gonna do two scans, index, I'll do two scans, middle finger, two scans, ring finger, two scans, pinky, two scans, and then left thumb, I'll do two scans. So then we're gonna go ahead and hit done. Now let me lock my phone, right thumb, right index, right middle finger, ring finger, pinky, and last but not least, left thumb. Every single one of them works flawlessly. So there's one other way that you can go about doing this to get the most fingerprints registered. I don't really recommend it because you will run into some issues, at least I did, but let me just go ahead and show you anyways because maybe you'll have better luck. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this last fingerprint. I'm gonna go in and register a new one. So this time, instead of doing two scans for every finger, we're only gonna do one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we will do the thumb again. It done. Now if we lock the phone, right thumb, right index, middle, ring finger, oh, see, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't always work. So I would just stick to either doing two scans per finger or split it in half and do 50% one finger, 50% the other. Now what's cool about this little hack or trick is that you can register different people's fingerprint under one fingerprint. So I could do 50% my right thumb and then do 50% of my wife's right thumb and it will work. So it's 
pretty neat. It's, it's a way to go around that default four fingerprint limit. And I really think this is going to be useful to a lot of people, which is why I wanted to share this quick little video. If you guys have any questions about this little hack, please be sure to leave them down below in the comment section or hit me up on Instagram or Twitter as I do respond a little bit quicker over there. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos just like this and make sure to check out my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and S21 Ultra playlist where I go over a lot more tips and tricks just like this. And other than that, I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.